In this video, we're going to look at PS Commander desktop widgets. In PS Commander 1.3, we added the ability to create desktop widgets um, that you can put on your desktop that overlay your wallpaper but are under your icons. So what we're going to do today is configure the various types of widgets and um, put them on my desktop. So I have my PS Commander config file open, um, and you can see here I have a couple menu items um, for the taskbar. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create some new desktop widgets. So first of all, I'm going to create a, test, a text widget, widget. So to do this, um, I'm going to call get computer info, uh, and then I'm going to create a string that has some information about my computer. It's going to list the number of processes, the number of users, my username. Um, and then my system family. So you can kind of think of this like BG info for the desktop. Then I'm going to use new commander desktop and pass in an array of widgets to put on the desktop. In this case, I'm going to use the new commander desktop tech, uh, widget um, text parameter set to actually use that computer info um, string that I created to overlay some text on the background. You have uh, configuration options like font size, um, color, um, font family, and then positioning. So uh, this is using device independent pixels. It's the same thing that WPF uses. Uh, so it's 192nd, or 196th of an inch. Um, and it, it'll just automatically based on um, <clears throat> your DPI settings. So what I'm going to do here is save this. And now PS Commander is going to automatically uh, update my uh, desktop and place that text um, directly over my um, wallpaper. And now you can see here, like I can't interact with it or anything. It's very similar to BG Info, where I just have this text kind of on top of my uh, wallpaper. In addition to uh, being able to use text, you can also place images. So in this simple example, uh, what I'm doing is I'm just adding this news PNG image um, to my desktop. So I was actually going to put it over the top of my uh, wallpaper and it'll fill in kind of the transparency of that PNG so uh, the wallpaper still comes through. Again you have options for sizing and location. So this is going to be kind of a 200 by 200 um, PNG and then it's going to be slightly down from the top of the screen. And now you can see I have this image on the left hand side. Again, I can't really interact with it. My icons are over the top of it kind of thing. Um, and yeah, so that allows you to kind of put images on there. Next, uh, if you are familiar with Windows Active Desktop, we also uh, support adding web pages. So this was a feature, I think, in Windows 7, potentially, uh, where you can actually have a web page on your background. So this might be cool if you have some sort of like self-updating website that shows information, that kind of thing, that you want to put on your uh, desktop. In this case, I'm just going to put Google. I'm using the URL uh, parameter set of the widget commandlet, and I'm creating a 500 by 500 uh, web page panel. So now it'll recreate um, all the widgets on my desktop, and we can see here that uh, we have Google um, right here. And you can notice that the, uh, the text box is actually or the cursor is blinking in there. So it's actually an active website. Um, in this case, it's not doing anything too interesting, but you could have some cool like stock ticker or something like that um, stored there. Um, next, I want to show that you can actually um, put your own custom widgets on there. Uh, we actually have a parameter set of new commander desktop widget um, that allows you to specify a script block that will be called. Um, in this case, it's gonna it's called load widget. And it's going to execute the code in here. And the idea is that you need to return a WPF window from this script block. And I just have a very simple WPF form that um, it just has a label that says hello world. Um, and it's returning that window um, via the XML reader and the XAML reader to actually load that uh, XAML um, XML um, up and then return an actual WPF window. So you could actually have whatever you'd like inside um, this particular commandlet. You could load up other uh, assemblies, that kind of thing, and get custom controls inside there. So now when you look at my desktop, you'll see that I have this little hello world um, window. It actually looks like a WPF window. 
Again, it's not interactive or anything like that. So you could have, you know, whatever you'd like in terms of a WPF application that will actually uh, update automatically. So um, in this case, it's pretty static. You can see uh, it's not doing much, it just says hello world. But um, just to kind of prove that we can actually have an updating process um, in the background, we'll use the final parameter set for a new commander widget. And that is uh, the load measurement or measurement um, parameter set. So what this allows you to do is actually take some measurement. So in this case, I'm just using get random. Um, you could do something where you integrate with uh, performance counters to get like CPU usage or memory usage, that kind of thing. And then you can specify a bunch of information about it. So uh, the title, a subtitle, the units. So for example, if it was CPU usage, it could be percentage. If it was memory, it could be um, megabytes or gigabytes used. Um, sizing and positioning. How often to look up this particular measurement. I'm doing it every second. That's probably uh, too uh, frequent for most things. Um, a more extended description, and then um, a theme. So we support six different themes, um, three light themes and three dark themes. So now you'll see that I have a uh, little card here um, that has a bunch of the information that I just looked up, and it's actually updating this um, every second. So it's getting a random number, putting that random number into the text box on the bottom, as well as adding it to the chart so that we have this little live chart that's going. And like, if we wanted to, we could customize how it looks, where it's positioned, how large it is, that kind of thing. So you could have multiple of these um, kind of spread across your desktop. So again, I can't interact with it. Everything on uh, the commander kind of surface here is not interactive. Um, but that allows you to kind of have a self-updating uh, wallpaper. Um, and you can kind of customize that as you see fit. So this uh, video has been about uh, PS Commander's desktop um, widget functionality, and that's available in PS Commander 1.3.